I never thought of that. Should I have thought of that? Transmitting AB on. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We've gone for main engine start. Once the solid rocket boosters ignite, they can't be cut off. The shuttle is committed to flight. The main engine start, you know it's alive. <laughs> and the solids really tell you that. You know you're headed somewhere because it's a nice kick in the pants. I can see the tower going by. By the time you clear above the tower, you're going already over 100 miles an hour. Columbia, Houston, uh, we have 40 seconds to LOS. Configure LOS. You're looking good burning over the hill. We'll see you at Madrid. I've likened it to driving my uh, old truck down a washboard country road. It's kind of like this. I don't think comfort is what you're looking for when you're going uphill and you're looking to get there. The sound went away. I really thought that uh, all the engines had quit. I figured that once we'd made it to orbit without anything blowing up and catching fire, we were home safe. Checklists start floating, trash starts floating, we get debris coming out of here. <laughs> so it's obviously we, <laughs> we are weightless. Go ahead, Vince. Looking out the window, shuttle's got great windows. There's, there's the earth. Crippen and Young fly the shuttle through space for more than two days. They orbit the Earth 36 times. If you would please, Mr. Vice President, go ahead. How's Crip's heartbeat doing? Calm down, Ms. Nelson, I think. Oh, really? Houston is with you at Mala. Re-entry will test the thermal tiles when the shuttle hits the atmosphere at 14,000 miles an hour. We were in the dark at the time, and one of the dramatic things that uh, I did notice was all of a sudden, the outside, which was supposed to be dark, started glowing this soft pink. Uh, and it was obvious that those little molecules out there were getting very, uh, very warm. Velocity Mach 2. Uh, sink rate uh, still losing altitude at the rate of about 200 feet per second. This was one of the first times I really started getting a sense of speed. As we came in lower, you could really get a sense of, hey, we're going pretty fast. Well, Cripp said he looked out the window and he said, what a way to come to California. We knew we were coming across the west coast over Santa Barbara. And then you can see where you turn in to runway 23. Here down. Landing went perfect, and John greased it on. About the softest landing you could, uh, could ever imagine. And when we finally got wheel stopped, John and I shook hands. Flight control report steady breaking. And John was as excited as I've ever seen that man get. They said it was a pretty good mission. I don't know if it was dangerous or not. We, were, we weren't really smart enough to know whether it was dangerous or not. We did it. We did it. Crippen and Young are the first astronauts to return from space in a reusable vehicle. 